Howdy. Let's uh, let's play Dragonborn. I think what I was doing last was storing a few things. I made some orc armor. Kicked up my smithing a little bit while Billy was sleeping. And as you can see, she's sort of elevated on that bed a little bit. She's probably just a very light sleeper. Alright, let's wake her up. Yes? Good morning, and let's go. Sure. <clears throat> what we can do is... Uh, Oh, it's a little early still. Oops. Uh, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and go. How much do I weigh? I'm pretty heavy. Need to get rid of that orcish armor. What was that? I don't know. Perhaps it was me enjoying the marvelous taste of fresca. I received no compensation since like three or four people tops probably watch my stream or my uh, videos. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and yeah, I got up too early. Good morning, lover. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Did looks. Scary in those uniforms. Don't you think so, too? Uh, they're not scary to me, Vilia. Glover, what have you got for sale? Take a look. I hate saying Glover because it sounds like I'm saying lover. And although he's a very handsome man, he's just not my type. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't want these anymore. There we go. Wow. Yeah, I, I improved it also. And... And... I think that's it. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Thank you. Let's go sell some potions to her. I don't know who sent you here. Take a look. Okay, I didn't mean to cut her off, but... People here say such nice things to me that after a while I just get embarrassed. I just don't know what to say. It's probably more important for me to get rid of some of these other potions. Like this one. Just ridiculous. What am I going to do with this? Nothing. Right. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the market. And clearly you are a studious business owner. I will come back. Hi. It's yeah. So, what can I get you? Well, Got it's everything from potions to pitchforks. Let's see what we can do. See for yourself. Mm -hmm. You see for yourself. Okay. Slowly, supplies, you know where to find me. slowly working our way toward uh, uh, that next level. <clears throat> Tell Mithrin. Here we are. This place where they say we have a bed, but we actually don't. Go check in with Master Nelleth. It's 11.50, just before lunch. His blood sugar may be a little low, which makes him cranky. <sighs> Vilya is beating me every single time now. Okay. 
Now that my tower is healed, I can finish some of my more delicate experiments. Okay, um... Let's go up to... Can I help you with your research? Hmm. I do have a new spell I'm working on. I hope to be able to conjure ash spawn. Nice. If I could get a sample of ash from an ash spawn, that would be quite useful. I think I have some. I've made this special tool that will extract... Well, you don't need to know the details. Just go harvest a sample. Of course, the creature will have to be dead first. But I trust that's something you can bring about. Okay. Is it going to make me use his tool? Oh my gosh. It is. I gotta go out and find one. Delightful. That's that then. Alright, let's go to, uh, where was this gonna be? Weapons? Well, I have to equip it. Ash extractor. You cannot equip it. Okay, fine, whatever. Just have to go kill one with this thing on my in my inventory, I guess. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to find an ash spawn, except, well, let's just go wander around out here for a minute and look vulnerable. Normally, if I just run like this, then I'll hear, hear Vilya say something. Like, ooh, I'm going to kill you, or one of her many things that indicates that she's detected an enemy. Any time now. Just take a little run across here. Yeah. It's just exhausting. I'm the freaking dragonborn for crying out loud. What am I doing? I'm being ash spawn well, bait. An ash spawn be that hard. You'd think. Here's a bed if we ever need it. I just can't resist an opportunity to try to get into his safe. <coughs> I gotta look. Nothing. Come on. I'm tempting. I'm tempting you. of execution, Felix. I'm sort of curse you. You must admit that I'm not bad. No, that was a good shot. An invisible guy. 
pretty impressive. Yeah. All right, but this isn't what we were looking for. We were looking for ash spawn. Yes, I'm guessing. No, you're never being silly. Just want to be attacked by ash spawn. Is it asking so much? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Especially since before we couldn't move. Oh, nice. Now I'm gonna Why is everybody running away from us? Come here. Eh. Hello. Doggone dragon war. Oh my gosh. Dragon rend. That is not impressive to her or to me or to anybody who's watching me out there trying to kill this doggone freaking piece of firewood that's turned into a living being. Ow. You? Sorry, just working out my frustration. Where did that thing go, anyway? Ah, there we go. Okay, where were we? Oh, we were running, trying to bait Ash spawn into attacking. We're just running into every other member of uh, Solstheimian. I wonder what my mother would say about the outfit I'm wearing right now. She would say you look beautiful because you do. Okay, that's what she would say. All right. Let's go back down to the beach, where they sometimes will show up. And they were down here before. What is this for? What have I done? What, what have I done to you? What have I done to you? Yeah. Oh, those things have reach. Pray to your gods for what? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, why? Because you're dead. <sighs> Glass boots, imperial armor. You were doomed. Yeah, I can go ahead and assuage some of my grief by getting some of this stuff. Makes me feel less bad about not being able to find ash spawn. Okay. That was alright. Everything's on fire here.
Thank you. Sorry, I need to get uh, get into that sort of enjoy the moment mindset a little bit more. All right. Tell you what, let's go down around the corner here, like we did last time, to that graveyard. And then past that. Because I'm thinking that may be one place we haven't been yet. Mm, cool, refreshing. Ah. Oh, look at the waves come in. That's pretty cool. Okay, we got a netch over here. I'm feeling like we're going to run across a Ash Spawn. I don't know. I just don't. I do. Ash spawn. Say the words. Because this is where it's going to be, right here. Between here and Nacharta, whatever it is, the, the Dwarven Ruins. Right along here. We will find Ash I've been spawn. trying to finish a brief history of the Empire. It's a lot to take in. Oh, my dear. You're not much of a reader, are you? But she never gives up. She always tries. Always tries. With her ABCs. No, I do. I've got plenty. Alright, I have no idea. I'm going to have to look it up somewhere. I've been running around tempting these creatures to attack me. It has not been productive. And I think they're just here on the southern part of the island. I don't recall ever seeing them north. Ash spawn. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's go there. See if any of them will pop back up. Like mushrooms, you know, you come through, you clear them out once. Some in here? You know, I started to travel together and I have discovered something. I'm actually quite a good fighter. Yes, you, you so I do. I do think you are. Oh. No way. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be that way. Because there were not ash spawn down here. Alright, never mind. Take it back. Wrong place. This is the place where we killed the, 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 the Ulan or the Severins. Got their manor. Officially give up. <sighs> For now. Uh, what else do we? What else can we do? Let's go down there and see what else we can do for him. It's got to be something more exciting than this.
you know, I'm thinking maybe we go back over that very first place where we found them, where we helped the good captain when we very first got here. Yeah. Master Nilleth. Good day. Friend. Still waiting for that ash sample from I'm an ash spot. Yeah. So, have you found any other black books? Yes, Hameus Mora is devious. But then, so am I. Really? Now, it's only a rumor of a whisper of a conjecture. But I think this is the place. Now, hurry. That book might contain the final secrets of Xarxes, for all we know. <laughs> okay, lost knowledge. Finally. I can get back to work. Yes? Yeah, at least there's something to do now. And perhaps on the way to getting this other black book, we can check out... First of all, let's see where this book is. It is way up here. All right, well, on the way, kind of on the way there, on, on the way there-ish, we can go down to Old Adios Farm. That's where we were when we had that first batch of uh, ash spawn creatures. So, I don't know. Maybe, there's, maybe, they, maybe they've respawned. Oh, dude, you're still out here? South to test our worth against the mighty Netch. Will you join us? <laughs> um, a Netch? The giant air floaters from the dark elf lands. Only the brave dare to hunt them. Only the strong oh my survive goodness. them. And Come, uh, test yourself against the beast with us. We all will share in the glory of the hunt. This is almost worth doing just be for the kicks. Uh, you think you'll win the fight? A warrior expects nothing, and therefore is ready for anything. If our aim oh dear. and our hearts are true, look at those guys over there. The maker will grant us strength. Limbering up. If not, the day is as good a day to die as any other. I see. So you get. Yeah. They will sing songs of our bravery around the campfires for many years. Yeah, for, for killing the mighty Natch. Um, okay, sounds fun. I'll join your hunt. Well met, friend. May we all fight or die well. I don't think we're going to be dying. Here we go. You are as good as dead. You're as good as dead, you vicious netch. Did someone just die? Oh my gosh, one of the hunters died. Alright, let's get our Natch Jelly, Natch Leather. Uh, let's go honor their fallen comrade. Yeah. Skull Coat. I don't know if I like this. Our victory will bring meat and bones to our people, and glory to our families. Oh, maybe I should have left that Netch jelly on the Netch. Is that it? Are we done? Uh, the, are your, do your families have glory? Now that you killed the Netch? I guess we're done. It just looks like Once he... I was attacked by a giant we will honor and sing praises for the fallen. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Looks like you've got some special things to do. So, uh, may the force be with you. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, this is not working. 
not working. Can't bait one of those things to attack us. Myself, I sometimes don't know at all, and that is frustrating. I hear you. I know what you mean. Let's go back to Severin Manor. It's 1055. <sighs> I read the Wheel Baroncia recently. Quite a piece of work. Yes, it is. Alright, what we're going to do is go ahead and hit the sack. Get up in the morning, go handle this other business, and uh, see how that goes. Yes? Enjoy your rest. Good idea. All right. Let me go put these ingredients away. Apparently this is not satisfactory ash spawn. Make sure I don't have any ingots to make. light enough that we can take off tomorrow and go do this business. Rise and shine. You are a bard, but I hardly ever hear you sing. I think we should sing together more often. Sounds like a good deal to me. Yes, friend? Let's go. Of course. Home, sweet home. It's so good to be here. But I'm awfully tired. What will you make for supper? Uh, a netch jelly and um, ash spawn butter sandwich. Sounds terrible. Alrighty. I have no idea where this is. Ooh. As long as we're in the neighborhood? No, I'll go back and do that later. Stay on task here. I know it's the star room source, but we need to get around it and get over here. Sad when I see the body of an adventurer, all dead and curled up. I wonder, is anyone waiting for them at home? Probably so. Let's go inside and see what this place is. I 
and even more interesting, we'll enjoy going through Apocrypha again. Do this. Somebody has been here before us. in case. Sometimes they stick a chest underneath those stairs, you know. I was going to get a ranged weapon, but I think she's going to beat me to it. Doggone spiders. <sighs> I shouldn't have pushed so hard. One day I will figure out what that means. <clears throat> Learning fast, don't you think so too? Boy, that was a wimpy bandit. I mean, well, you handle that bandit nicely. Yes. All right, so. Let's poke around down here. See what there is to see. 
presumably we can get... Hang on just a second, Vilya. Let's go up here first. See if we can get that other thing down. You will be so dead. Those things hurt. So do we go? Is there a door here? Alright, now we are getting all spread out every which way, but what the heck? They're fighting. You so they have totally improved. You made a big mistake. Cat power, buddy. So that's it down this way, right? You know, the best defense isn't a good armor, it's a good, strong weapon. I agree. Alright, so this, this side is done, I guess. Now we go to the other side. Sick and tired of those doggone things getting me. I guess my flames yeah, wouldn't. I guess my flames wouldn't do too much to him. That was fun. around this place a little bit though. I feel like I'm missing something. I guess not. Absolutely. Just looking around here. All right. You're a creep. You're as good as dead. 
getting better and better at this, don't you think so too? Yep. I think she's getting a little needier, quite honestly. Alright. Better and better. Alright, now this would make a little bit of sense, I guess, if we're going to go back. And finally, what makes this smell? Spider guts. Spider guts make that smell. You can trust me, I'm the dragonborn. I know these things. All right. into the sanctum. All right, my dear, let's see what happens. There'll be all ah. sorts of juicy creatures. I kill you, you filthy little beast. Well, that was like a twofer. You are as good as <coughs> dead. Yeah, that sucked. And the stupid spiders. I hate them. I hate them so bad. Flying spiders of vomiting, vo fire vomit. That's what they are. Is this like, did we, are we missing something? Is this like part of a thing that I didn't know? Flame Cloak Spider 6. Okay, let's take them all. Jumping Flame Spider 5. Sure, why not? Let's take his cage door key. Journal. I know what he's planning. Does he really think he can take all the credit for discovering these spiders next time he goes to the safety cage? I'll do whatever he does with those spiders. I'll lock the door. He'll have no choice but to listen to me then. What does he mean about me not being in the right in the head? There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> he's the one trying to steal my discovery. Does he think I don't see what he's doing? There's nothing wrong with me. Nothing. Multiple exclamation marks on the internet with a one at the end, maybe? He keeps talking to me like I'm insane. I'm not insane. Who said I'm insane? Did I say I was insane? I'll show him insane. This is actually very funny, very good writing. 
It doesn't matter. He'll see what real power is. The chanting we heard just outside the main chamber must mean there's something extremely powerful there. Ooh, like a word wall. If I can get my hands on that energy and bring it back, who knows what kind of discoveries we can make from it. That's it. Okay. I think we're done here. That's a nice feeling. Yeah, we better take that journal just in case. All right. So there is a black book out here. Let's do a little examination here real quick. After all. No. Die. This is the way they hunt spiders. Bow and arrow. Gotta get close to him so I can hit the sucker. That didn't do any good anyway, did it? Dang. Didn't I tell you I was good? No, yes. I know they've improved. All right. Where were we? <sighs> you know, can I you please try and keep quiet? I am trying to make money for us. This is how I make all those houses happen. Buy all of your n ale and mead and apples and sweet rolls. Well, sometimes I steal them off of dead people, but sometimes I buy them. What's in here? Probably something that I don't want to see. Really? So many things in here. So much stuff. Oh, all right. Let's figure it out. There's I'm getting out of here. Why would you attack me when I just saved your life?
Finish her off, Vilya. Didn't I tell you I was good? Yes, you did. Oh, we got a stack of bodies here. I wonder what that was all about. How the hell did they get here? In many ways, I'm glad that you are a warrior. Magic might be good, but I don't quite understand what a spell can do better than a maze. Good point. Let's take a look at the map. Alright. That's about it. And the map agrees. Who put that there? I could not get that off fast enough. Die. Let's read this. She's finally done it. I knew she'd eventually crack. I probably should have left when I had the chance. The untapped power within these spiders has finally gotten to Marilar's head. This is the person we killed earlier. Who would have thought these tiny albino creatures had the ability to harness such magic? Being locked in this cage is frustrating, of course, but it's keeping me even more focused on my work. What did she think I was going to do anyway? As my sister, oh dear, she must have known how devoted I am to this work, although I can't fault her for her actions right now. Who knows what kind of fumes these experiments have been giving off, or what effect they have on the human brain? At least I'm alright, or maybe I'm not, but think I am. Could these experiments be having the same effect on me that they are on her? Magnificent. It seems as though, as uh, though you can combine any one of the base spiders with a modifier to tweak its behavior. For instance, just imbuing an albino pod with a ruby. Oh, see now I'm glad I've been collecting those. The ruby seems to create a spider that jumps at its victims and proceeds to explode. But by simply adding a salt pile to the mix. It creates the same manner of spider, but instead of jumping and exploding, it emits flames from its body. I had to experiment with more of these behaviors, but it seems the bandits we tested the mind control spiders on all still are all still locked away. Marilar doesn't want to, me to let them out. Maybe there are too many in there for her to handle. I heard her muttering to herself earlier today. She was saying things like, the spiders are mine, they'll listen to me. What exactly is she planning? Hope she's not attempting to enter the blocked off room in the main chamber. She knows we specifically sealed it after hearing odd chanting coming from that direction. Then again, what she used to know may not matter right now, considering the state she's in. I hope she'll be all right. Well, she's not. All right. Another pod? Another you will be so dead. Oh, wow. I've only tried a few combinations, but things look promising. Here's what I've discovered so far. Ruby, albino pod, jumping flame spider. Ruby, damage pod, exploding flame spider. Ruby, salt pile, damage pod. Doesn't know. Ruby, salt pile, albino pod. Flame Cloak Spider. Looking at the results, it seems as though the purity of the gem could enhance the imbuing process in some unforeseen way. <laughs> Perhaps if I get my hands on a flawless ruby, 
I've also theorized that if one were to mix most any of the ingredients in the previous experiments, a new discovery is likely to be made. Diamond and garment, garnet don't work. Ruby works. Amethyst, emerald, or sapphire. Wow. Okay. So. Search imbuing chamber. So, in the imbuing chamber, we will put an albino spider pod. One. And we're going to put a flawless garnet. Whoops. One. No, wait, didn't you say that that doesn't work? Flawless sapphire. Jumping Frost Spider. Okay. That's cool. Imbuing Chamber. We're going to go ahead and put... Uh, jumping Albino Spider Pod. Do we have a we don't have any diamonds. Bummer. And we have rubies. All right. Well, we could probably do this forever. Too bad we can't take this with us. Jumping flame spider. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Take the spider experiment notes. That's nice. Salt pile. Salt pile. And one more time. Well, maybe we'll do a couple. Let's go ahead and take albino spider pods. Three. Flawless sapphire. One. Flawless garnet. One. Ruby. One. And throw some salt pile in there. Just for kicks. Activate switch. Flame cloak spider, flame crooks. Okay, so we got the flame cloaked spider. Apparently, the uh, and one more time. All right, I think we're done. That was fun. leave yet though.
we're not done. We need to get the black book. Just a mental note. We get to, we can get to Saul's time this way, but we have stuff to do. I found a lot of jewels in Solstheim, that's for sure. This place is rich in minerals. Alright, this looks like the end of the road here. Okay. And that would be a nice way to exit, by the way. You know what? I'm thinking maybe we should get out that door just to see if it shows us. Just see if it registers on the map. Let's do that. Because if it does, then we can just come right back down here directly to do more spider stuff. Okay. This was a mistake. Man, that was an ass kicking set. Yeah, I'd, uh, I had my finger on that. Alright, as long as they're going to be... Uh, find this place again. This is nice. Don't you think so? It is. Okay, so this is where we went in, right here. Right? Just want to get this straightened out in my head. Alright. Okay, so this is where we went in. White Ridgeboro. All we gotta do is run right across the way. And even though it's not listed, is it on the map? Yeah, it's not. It's not on the map. But at least I can find it again. If we, ch if we choose to make any more. Um, exploding spiders. That's why I want to know where this place is, because it's just a straight shot to the machine. Right there. Okay. Uh, this was bound to happen. Oh yeah, now Vilya's showing off. She knows that I'm screwed. Vilya. Yes? Let me check your gear, please. Of course. Look at her all smug and everything, knowing that I'm in deep crap. Bag. Okay, yeah. Vilya's personal storage, bag one.
You know what? I should give her some stuff for selling. What have I got that I don't want? This. And... This. And this. And this. I've got all kinds of stuff that I could she can sell. I really don't need these. All right. Yeah, we'll see how that works. The Vilia selling thing. I mean, really. I can give those to her. If she can sell those, then good for her. All right. Continue. Let's continue, Vilia. All right. This has turned into a longer event than I thought it would, but this this was a much more complex dungeon than I thought it would be. Let's see, I'm thinking Daedric Bow. This is probably what I'm best with. And we're going to pull out all the stops and do the Daedric Arrows. not paying attention. That was my bad. That was my bad. How far back is it going to take us? <sighs> yep. That was my mistake. Not paying attention. I feel bad about that. Alright, Vilia. We're just going to do this yes. easy, the easy way. Check your gear. Of course. 
I'm just going to give her the battle axe. Stuff that's heavy. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Talk later. All right. Guess I'm just being silly. No, you're not just being silly. And I'm going to just get my doggone bow out. I've got elven arrows right now. I'm going to move those. I'm going to move up to uh, Yeah, we're going to use Dramora Lord too. He'll be a nice guy to have floating around. Alright, I'll just keep my bound bow and try that. Better go with my strengths on this one. And my strength is the bow, so that's what I'm going to use. Get, it. Get in there, buddy. Take you down. See, that was actually a lot easier. And it's not a problem to use my strength. find this word. Whoops. Shout. All right. The whirling cyclone that sows chaos among your enemies. Oh, that ought to be fun. Oh boy, here we go. Back to Apocrypha. All right. Sorry. All right. This is going to be another one of those if you get in the dark it hurts worlds probably. So I think I need candlelight over my head. <coughs> Because when I was in the, this is this is one of those where, yeah.
Come on, my dear. I want to take this for Vilia. I have no idea where we're going. We're just going. We're in Apocrypha. We're in. We're in the scary place. Thank you. Never too scary. Oops. Hey. This is it. Boom. Shall we continue? Let's continue. <sighs> yeah, that hurts. <sighs> Did you see how my healing or my damage? I started taking pretty good damage. Goodness for that critical strike perk. I'm suffering. I need to shoot him one more time. Didn't I tell you I was good? Yes. And boom. Hmm. Smells like garlic. Is that what I smell like when I'm cooking? Um, we are about out of room here. Bound sword. I'll take it. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Let's see, Seeker of Might. Seeker of Sorcery. Magic Spells and Seeker of Shadows. Stealth skills. It's going to be between stealth and might. Wow. I had to go with stealth because of my character. The, the very claim what my character is. A little dizzy. It's kind of weird how that weapon clips into her body. All right. Let's see. And do we still have something to explore? I don't know. Let's go give it a look. Ilya. Yes, friend? Will you carry something for me? Of course. Thank you. Let's see, what do I have that I need you to carry? It's just boiling down to a bunch of dinky, expensive things. Oh, this is kind of heavy. But I don't want her to wear it. Continue. I know what I'm going to do. I'm hungry. Yeah. And where in the hell does this come from? Good grief. All right. Clearly, I'm. I've got too much booze. That didn't work. Come on, come on, which way, which way, which way? Now I'm gonna get you. Oh no, this is... I'm glad we came down here. <sighs> sort of. Sort of glad. Yes, I'm glad.
This place is creepy. Oh, it's creepy, all right. But man, look at the loot. All right. And I think this will do it. I think we have officially explored the entire the entire place. God. No, wait. Dwarves? Uh, no, wait. Dungeon builders? I don't know. Who puts anything anywhere? Alright. So we go there, we go there. Let's go out the... Let's go out the door we came in. How's that? Now that we know where to find the other one, if we want to. I have seen one of those before, and I don't care if I never see one again. Let's go. Wait a second. I take this back. We're going back the other way. It'll be quicker. It'll be quicker just to go out our little back door. Yep. I think. Did I go the right way? Yeah, there we go. Quicker to go this way. Bink. We're out. Back home, 9.31 p.m. We'll get home, what, 2 o'clock in the morning? And uh, what I'll do, we'll, we'll get back to uh, oh, midnight. Nothing. It's, just, it's practically nothing. This may be the frontier, but we've still got rules. Break. I don't want to break the rules. I want to, I want to be obedient. All right. It was a good day. It was a good day. We got a lot of stuff done. We did a book, a black book. We have to go back and talk to Nelleth about it. And uh, I want to grab that battle axe from Vilia. You look tired. Don't you think we should take a break soon? Honey, we're going to take a break right now. Let me just check your gear. Of course. All right. Yeah. And she's got everything else she needs. All the things that make her happy. Plus some stuff to... Oh no, we didn't do that. I'm going to give her things to sell. That's right. I forgot about that. So let me give her back... 
this. Yeah. Get rid of that. This. This. I want to just see if she'll do it. That's enough. And? I think my mother would like you. You're both so interested in mixing potions. Time to go to bed. Good idea. Alright. I'm gonna put the mask. In here. What the heck, I'll put these in here too. And I think what we'll do is uh, do a little selling in the morning. Go back and talk to Naloth. And uh, I'm looking down here at the list of Telemithrin quests, and we're about done with them, too. Uh, a few more things to do for Master Naloth. And then maybe two other quests. Uh, two or three other quests, and then we're done with uh, this DLC. So we are approaching the end, but we still have more, still have a few more videos to make. So thank you very, very much for watching.